On the evening of the 11th of February, 1942, the battle cruisers Neisnau and Scharnhorst, which had been the French port of Brest for nearly a year, as well as the cruiser Prince Eugen, a veteran of Bismarck's only sortie, made a run for Germany. Operation Cerberus, better known as the Channel Dash, had been well prepared, with minefields scouted, escorts and air cover sent out, and bad weather providing cover. The next day, when the British realized what had happened, saw hundreds of sorties flown to intercept the German ships on their way through the English Channel. Among the many aircraft sent out were the old swordfish biplanes of 825 Squadron, led by Lieutenant Commander Eugene Esmond, just shy of 33 and great-nephew of Captain Thomas Esmond, one of the earliest VC recipients. The previous day, he'd been presented with his DSO, awarded for the first torpedo attack on Bismarck the previous May. Now he was to take six swordfish and make an attack in the Channel. He was promised an escort of five fighter squadrons for this, but only ten Spitfires would arrive to join him. The cruising speed of only about 90 knots, the swordfish were easy prey for German fighters, and there were hundreds of them around and above the ships. Such was the huge difference in speed that German pilots reported not only having to throttle back their engines, but to lower their landing gear and extend their flaps to get their speed down low enough not to shoot right past the swordfish before having a chance to fire. Lieutenant Commander Esmond, although his bomber had been damaged, got within 3,000 yards of Scharnhorst and dropped his torpedo before crashing into the water. The other five swordfish followed his into the sea in short order, with 13 of their 18 crews. The remaining air attacks on the German ships weren't any more successful, and 42 British aircraft were lost that day. Neisenau, Scharnhorst, and Prince Eugen arrived in Germany the next morning, although the two battle cruisers had been badly damaged by mine strikes. The attacks didn't stop there, and Neisenau was damaged further by bombing less than two weeks later. Although the blow to British prestige and morale, an enemy force had managed to get through the channel for the first time in living memory, was severe, ultimately none of these ships fought in a major action again. Of tank commander Esmond washed ashore, still in his life jacket, two months after the attack, and was buried in Gillingham.